Hello and welcome. Now, do you recognise this man? No? Well, that's because I've sent him undercover to find out the truth. Now, he's been secretly watching some of today's guests, and like you, they have no idea who he is. So, let me let you in on a secret. You probably know him better as my body language expert and human lie detector, Robert Phipps. Did he uncover while disguised? Find out later. Um, <coughs> Fitzy. Now, this is Robert Phipps, our body language expert, who's never had a job so easy in his life. <laughs> <laughs> He's been watching your body language while you have made an hilarious attempt to try and make out you should be made Saint Dennis of faithful husbands or something. <laughs> yes. You, almost every time you open your mouth, you lie. You have been moving your leg around, jiggling your foot. It's, you should be a politician, because you open your mouth and lies. <laughs> What's the good thing? You are enjoying this, because this is your midlife crisis, and you're the centre of attention. You have two women. Whether or not you are doing anything makes no difference. The fact is, you're playing two women off against each other. You've got the whole of the neighbourhood going, oh, look behind the curtains what he's up to, and you're walking along, cock of the wall, look at me. Yeah. You're loving it. You're no, loving it. Because if you weren't loving it, you would either knock the wife on the head or you would knock her on the head. Or the pair of them should get together and knock you on the head. <laughs> Honestly. Well, I got told it was just one time. Oh. One time. Well, it's, you said a couple of times. Yeah, I'm here to be honest, you know. How, OK, be honest. So how many times did you sleep with this guy? A couple. But you didn't use safe sex? Um, and what about you? You're worried. You're saying you're worried about Ian having a re revenge affair. Have you ever cheated on her? I have done. How many times? A few times. Since you got pregnant, then that that was the end. There of was it. one time, which she knows about. Uh, there was a girl which I decided to sort of see. Didn't sleep with her or anything like that. But because I was a bit lost, I didn't know whether to be with her because she was pregnant with someone else's child. I didn't know whether to stay with her or find my own life and start again. So How I was many a bit times confused. do you think he's cheated? I don't know, because I read into things, because obviously I've done something bad, so I sort of... But how many times in your mind? Once, twice, three, four, five? In what sort of period? Well... Why, how long have you been together? Five years? Yeah. I don't honestly know. I just have in the back of my mind, because of what I've done, you know, he could do it and I'd have to accept Why it. Why hold that against me? I don't try to. Do you feel that she does, or life goes on as normal? I feel like she does sometimes. Why? Why? I hardly ever go out. I don't have many friends. And when I do, uh, she, she always tries to stop me. Or she'll say, oh, you know what? I don't want you going out with him. He's Jack the lad. He's just going out. He's single. He's just going out to find women, you know? Yeah, because that's what does happen. Well, you yeah, come back with other girls' numbers and stuff. But I don't. Let me introduce Robert Phipps to you. He's, uh... I've been asking you questions as we went along, and he's been taking notes, looking at your body language. Even if you try and suppress that body language, this man is, is brilliant. Now, uh, Fipsy, um, what I first want to do is you, you just show that you've had both of them in the truth chair, yep. haven't you? Yep. Um, so let's start off with, with Jo, when she was okay. in the truth chair. Hi, Jo. Hi. Do you have feelings for your son's biological father? No. Do you actually want to marry Ian? I would do, yeah. You cheated on Ian with one of his work colleagues. Tell me more about that. There's not a lot to say, really. Just a one-off fling? A couple of times. A couple of times. When exactly was that? While Ian was in prison. Take a look at this picture of Ian. And tell me three positive things about him. He's caring. Um, he's a good father figure to my children. Um, he's hard working. Now tell me three things that you dislike about him. He can be a bit lazy. That's about it. OK, Joe. thank you very much. You may leave the truth, Jeff. OK. 
So, Fipsy, what did you find out both from there? Because I'm confused. At one point, a good point was uh, he was hardworking. The next, he was lazy. So yeah. I'm a bit confused yeah. there. From there and from what you've seen today, what are you picking up about Joe? <coughs> OK, when you were in the truth uh, room, when I was asking you the questions, I don't think you were giving me all of the answers because quite often when I, when I asked you about the, the cheating, you gave an answer and then you bit twisted the inside of your lip, which is normally a classic sign of somebody who's lying. I think you did sleep with this guy more than the two occasions that you're owning up to. Um, but also, it was very easy for her to find three positive things about him. Yeah. Just like that, straight off, off the bat. Right. Whereas trying to find the negatives, all she came up with was lazy. So there's more positive things in her mind yeah. immediately about Ian than there are negative things. So that's a confusing signal then. Absolutely. Because he doesn't know where he stands. And I think with that confusion from uh, Joe to Ian, he's now confused and he's sending exactly the same mixed signals back. Because when we watch his VT, when I was asking him, it goes through the same sort of thing. I will see that later. Now, I, I pressed Jo on how many times she'd slept with this guy and she admitted that it was a one more time than Ian knew about. Mm -hmm. um, I get the feeling it's more times than that. Yeah, uh, so do I, just from the, the, the questions in the truth uh, room and also since you've been out here, whenever Tricia has asked you, and Tricia always asks these questions in a specific Tricia order that I ask see. her to, and when she was asking those questions, every single time you're talking about this other guy, you raise your feet, you start jiggling your foot, and you start wringing your hands. Again, another discomfort sign, somebody who's nervous, particularly nervous because they are trying to suppress something. So I think, from my opinion, you've slept with him more than twice. Thank you. And also, I've got to say, from that, pushing you on that, as a woman, and how you get pregnant, and your dates, you must have slept with him more than that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Can't you get pregnant after one You, you time. can. Yeah. You can, but it's when they match up. You came out within the truth chair, you said when Ian was in prison. I pushed you further here, you said it was another time and when he was in prison. So I'm just wondering if I had the time and we kept pushing you, how many more times it would be. No, I get the just... feeling it was a fling. Let's have a look and see what uh, happened when Ian went in the truth chair. You might get some answers. <coughs> Hello Ian, how are you today? Not too bad. Tell me, do you really want to marry Jo? Eventually, yes. Tell me about the time you cheated on Jo after you found out that she was pregnant. Um, I was a bit confused of what I wanted to do with my life, whether I wanted to be with her or sort of move on, make my own life. Um, I just really didn't know what to do. I thought maybe doing this was my way out of all my stress and pain I had in, inside, you know? And have you cheated on her since that time? No. Are you sure about that? Positive. OK, why don't you take a look at this photograph of Joe? Tell me three things you dislike about Joe. The way she winds me up. Mm hmm Consistently. Um, the way we don't talk to each other, we don't communicate at all. OK, tell me three things that you love about Joe. I love how she can be funny sometimes. Um, she makes me laugh. Um, she keeps me sane, the main thing. OK, Ian, thanks very much. You can leave the truth room. Thank you. OK, so, Fipsy, having watched that compared with what... Mm -hmm. uh, and with what you've seen now, what are you thinking? Again, there's confusion within Ian. And I think that comes from the confusion that he's picking up from Joe. He doesn't... He wants one thing, just like Joe wants one thing. Yeah. But both of them are going to a point and it's like looking over the edge and going, no, that's too risky. Right. And just stepping back each time. Because when I asked you also about your unfaithfulness, um, there was a very big gulp. So I would say that you, was, you are, answered that untruthfully. There was more to it than what you've actually let on because I, I pushed you on it and you went, no. Ooh. And there's a very big gulp. And generally, the people do that when they're caught out. So you look pretty angry, Joe. No, I just want to know the truth. That's what I'm here for, basically. Have you been telling the truth yourself? Yeah. So what do you want to say? There's nothing to say. Thank I you I haven't cheated on her since she, she's fell pregnant. OK. And you're blushing now. Careful. I am going to be honest with both of you. Um, it's rare that I come across two people who lie so much. I think you're on a par. You've learnt how to be devious. You've learnt how to maybe even try and fool yourselves. You both worry that the other person's lying. 
You're both right to worry, actually. But you deserve that. When we ask for that, when we give it out, karma is about what you give out, you get back. <laughs>